Hey, welcome to the backseat of my car once again for another episode. In this one, I actually got hit up by the one and only Steph Curry. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, Curry what a slips shot. the defense behind the back. Fires a three. Oh, he puts it in! Done some stuff in the past for him and he wants to do um, some golf spikes for a tournament that he's playing in um, in July. He's gonna FaceTime me in a little bit to talk over design. Like I said, I have no idea what we're doing yet. Um, I want to kind of keep it organic for you guys and not just do some movie magic where I already know what's going on, but like I usually do. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be as exciting for me as it is for you guys, so firsthand. All right. Hey guys, Mosh here with another unboxing. What do we got in the box? We're gonna see. Build the anticipation. I'm really excited to see what it is. Wow. They sent a bunch of hats and visors. And these are not uh, golf shoes. These are, uh, these are curry sixes. We're gonna have to uh, ask some questions to our, to our buddy uh, Steph Curry. Cause I don't know, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know what you got planned for me, Steph Curry, or Under Armour. Uh, while we wait for uh, Steph to hit me back, um, I gotta do a mock-up for another project that's uh, for Red Bull. I'm designing a, uh, a lacrosse bike for a player. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the guy's name is. I'm gonna find out. Um, but I do have all the details of what we're doing. So in the meantime, we're just gonna make this out so I can submit it. Because a lot of times when you work with brands or you work with things, you have to do these mock-ups for them to approve it. Because again, it's not just me doing it for one person, it's a whole brand. So there's a lot more red tape and logistics. So you gotta play by the rules and you know, make sure they all sign off because they're the one signing the checks. Since his mom paints with him, I'm, you know, I think it's gonna be more of the art piece of it. And then maybe doing some, uh, maybe a little frame, like an art frame. Maybe around the three stripes, like something like that. Something like that's cool. What the blue lines represent? It's the, uh, to represent a uh, line piece of paper, because they, their parents own a paper company. And then what we can do is we can do the stripes. People always, uh, I won't say always, but I think I get a reputation for just doing celebrity orders all the time. This is not a celebrity. This is for a Sweet 16. You know, unless uh, she's gonna be on MTV's Sweet 16. <laughs> yeah, this is this is uh, for a regular girl who wanted a dragon on some Air Forces. Going old school, this is like how I used to customize when I first started. No stencils, no nothing, just kinda letting her rip. We're just getting the shape and then I'll go in. Shade and do all that good stuff. Oh, Steph's calling now. Yo. What's that? What's going on? How you doing? Trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with these. Is that, is that, is that the only colorway they sent? Mm hmm They sent me like eight hats and visors. So obviously I think this is supposed to just go to you and whatever. Let me, let me see them again. Those are the donation. Yeah. Uh, What route do you want to go with it? The Black Lives Matter one uh, was one idea. The second idea was paying homage to the, what I'll call the Mount Rushmore of black golfers, minus Tiger Woods, because he's still playing. So right. uh, there's uh, Althea Gibson, Charlie Sifford, Lee Elder, and Calvin Pete. Okay. Uh, the four legends in the game that broke so many different barriers. Right. And obviously now is an amazing time to kind of shine some light. Celebrate. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what I can do is I can actually break up the actual Mount Rushmore so it looks like Mount Rushmore. 
and maybe have two of the faces on one shoe and one on the, and the other two on the other. And then when you put them together, it kind of comes together. And I'll do it all, so it looks like it's carved in stone. I'll keep the, the midsole as is, and then everything else will be the grays, the blacks. But I want to have it some, I want to make sure that those stand out. So it's not just like you're wearing a pair of gray shoes, because I mean, that can easily get washed out. So I'll leave that up to me to figure out how to do that. Just text me the names, because I don't golf. <laughs> so I'm not even going to ask. I can drive at the driving range, and that's about it. My short game is horrible. I, yeah. Well, I can do that not only on this video, but I can, uh, I can get you. To, I'll, I'll be your golf instructor. I'll be your uh, part time golf instructor whenever you're ready to, to take it on. Yeah, hey, well, I, I saw your setup at your house, so I, I know you're not messing around. <laughs> Shoot. All right, man. I'll talk soon. All right. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Turn these into golf spikes. Um,. Don't know how we're gonna do it yet, but we're gonna figure it out. But we're gonna do something right. We're gonna do it right for representing golf, black history, and of course, Steph Curry. So uh, enough talking, let's go. And we're back, day two. We're gonna get cracking on these. Curry's shoes are all completed. Did a little homage to, again, the black golfers of history. You know, it's something that there isn't a lot told about it. So Steph wanted to definitely educate with this pair and uh, be sure to wear, see him wearing these on Tahoe in the golf tournament. Um, I believe it's the first week in July. And for everybody else, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like and comment. I do see all that and I appreciate it. And like I said, check out the next video. Make sure you subscribe.